so hello guys in this video we are going to work with uh, one of the building modules which is the time and date modules with, uh, in the python so in this video we are going to see about only the time module this video may be short something around 3 minute 4 minute but i will tell you everything about the time modules related to time modules in the python so just let's just get started so get into your id uh, the, so here you can see i am in my pycharm id now let's see how we can work with this so uh, working with time and date so now since this is a building module so you simply have to write in code and time now first we have as i already told dealing with the time module so i will import the time and import the time okay then uh, define our keyword is equals to time dot time now here the first time this time is a keyword and this time is a method that is or you can say function okay uh, for more clarity i'll write that first time is a keyword and function okay so now when we go ahead and print this what print my time let's see what is the result right click on this one click on run time module and yeah so you can see here that this is my current time the right now what my time it is going it is 9 44 am so when you calculate this one it will give you the value of 9 44 am okay now moving on to the getting the exact time how we can get the exact time so for that what we'll do is uh, we'll use the c time c time function okay so, so time equals to time dot c time here this this c time is the keyword okay and this c time is a function again the same thing will be repeated control okay now this both are the same thing this again is it is a keyword and this is again a function so the thing is that let's just go ahead and execute this one too so print c time let's see uh, what is the result out here on right click on this click on run module so yeah so you can see this here this is the today it is sunday first november uh, then it is the time it is the writing 9 45 and 2020 okay so now we are clear with the my time and c time so my time function will give you the uh, the value of the time in the complete numerical value and c time function value will give you the current time the exact time uh, along with the date as well as time so you, I hope you got that thing. Now again, if you want to format the time uh, in more accurate uh, result, if you want to get, then the third module, the, then the third function which you will use is format time. Format time. Now this uh, will use as uh, time dot str f time. Then when we'll uh, open the this one then percentage percentage t then again percentage for month that d is for date m is for month again the percentage y is for year alright now we'll go ahead and print format time let's see what we get the result as so you can see this here it is i have already write the sequence here it is date month and year so this is date month and year all right so this was the uh, concept about the format time now format time is more uh, also useful it's also kind of uh, useful uh, when it wants to print the time as well not only the date as you can see here in the first case we have printed only the date but it is also useful for printing of time so let's see how we can do that to format time let us assign the keyword as ft time for format and time and now this equals to time dot str f time already told you now in this bracket I as i've already mentioned you will start the this one the string how you assign that so this one basically uh, 
you will start this one the inverted commas and then in that you will percentage d for date then again percentage m for month and percentage capital y for year now note here the date and month are in small letter but m is in capital letter so uh, this is the point to remember and this y is always in capital letter that's for sure and then why we kept in capital letter so that we can get the full date 2020 and if we kept in keep it in small letter then we will only get 0 11 20 so that's why the reason why we kept why we keep the y as in capital letter all right now uh, this is done now we are going with the time so for time uh, we will write percentage h for hour then percentage m capital m for minutes and percentage s capital s for second now remember time is all all the three are in capitals and in the date sections the uh, date and the month is in small and year is in capital so now let's just go ahead and print this one f time all right so let's see what is the result but i should rather comment this all these before uh, printing with this one so that it does not give uh, any execution error okay so we are basically focusing on this one let's see what is the result right click on this click on run module so yeah so you can see here that this is 0 11 2020 okay i would have given the gap in between Okay, now we are going to execute it again. Uh, okay, uh, give the uh, is to sign in between so that the time. So uh, let's just try again and run this one. So yeah, so you can see that this is 0, 11, 20, 20 and 9, 50, uh, 20. So this was about the time module. In the next video, I'll deal with the date time module and put that in the i button as well. Thank you so much for watching the video.